Okay friends welcome back and in this tutorial we are going to look over some life cycle callbacks of a new polymer element so basically what a life cycle of an element is like when an element is created a function is called out when it's put on the screen or attached to a attached to the app a new function is called and when it similarly functions are called when the element is detached or attributes of an element changes so basically we will see how this happens okay so you can go to the polymer docs and check out this link out here i'll put the link in the description and basically these are the four callback methods would be created would be when a polymer element is created attached would be when it will it is associated or attached and similarly detached and attribute change is when attributes of a, of a element are changed so first we'll go ahead and see what created and atti attached to so okay we'll say just simply copy paste the code out here and see what happens and when we go into the code uh, into the browser okay we'll see that as soon as this element is created first the first the it is created so first this function out here is called out this this line here is first called out and the console dot logs prints a log message in the console so here we will see that my new element was created and in the next in the next line we see that since it has been attached and is been shown shown on the screen now this function is called attached function and console function and console here it uh, console dot log out here is being called and this it is this is what is showing attached just to confirm if i just put it like a caps lock c and a bigger a so we'll see that this changes out here too so we have seen in this tutorial how the life cycle of a created and attached work of a polymer element in the next tutorial in the next few tutorials we'll see how the detached and attribute changed uh, callback functions are used and detached would be basically when it is detached from a poly polymer app and attribute change would be actually when attributes of a uh, element is changed it's actually quite self explanatory and we'll go on to see all those things in the future tutorials so definitely stay tuned and keep keep watching this tutorials thank you